welcome to Edupedia World Grade 10 Computer Science Video Lecture Series. Hi, I'm Ufeka Wendibona and from this episode we are talking about the binary representation of real numbers. Now, the real numbers are the numbers where a decimal point may exist. This type of representation of real number is called fixed point representation. But a digital computer cannot understand a character other than 0 or 1. We have discussed about this in a previous episode. So in order to make the computer understand, a real number is converted to a binary in such a way where no decimal point should exist. This form of representation is called floating point representation. There are two types of floating point representation. One is single precision real number representation and the other one is double precision real number representation. Four bytes are used to represent single precision real numbers and eight bytes are used to represent double precision real numbers. In this episode, we are focusing on the single precision real number representation. In single precision numbers, 3 bytes are considered as the mantissa part and 1 byte is used as the biased exponent form as shown in this figure. It also used the most significant bit, the MSB as the sign bit. For positive numbers it is 0 and for the negative number it is 1. Now let's learn about the step by step process of finding the binary equivalent of any real number. The step 1. The first step is to find the binary equivalent of the given number by the conventional method. Now here we are given the number 25.75. Using the division by 2 process, we have to find the binary equivalent. For the integer part, let's divide 25 by 2. The quotient is 12 and the reminder is 1. Divide the quotient 12 by 2, the new quotient is 6 and the remainder is 0. Divide 6 by 2, the quotient is 3 and the remainder is 0. Divide the 3 by 2, the quotient is 1 and the remainder is 1. Now the binary representation of 25 is 11001. Now for the fractional part, let's multiply the fractional part. 0.75 by 2 it is equal to 1.50 now the integer part is 1 in here now let's take the fractional part 0 0.50 multiply it by 2 it is equal to 1.00 0 0. now the fractional part is 0 therefore we can stop right here now take the integer part. With that we have the value 1 1. So the binary representation of the fractional 0 0.75 is 1 1. We say this value 1 1 0 0 1 .1 1 is in the non-normalized form. Now if you are given a negative number then you should find the binary of the absolute value of that number. For example if you are given the minus 25.75 then it is same 1100 1.11 because we take the absolute value. Step 2. Rearrange the number in its normalized form. Normalized form of representation is m multiplied by b to the power of n where m is mantissa and it must be in the range from 1 divided by b to b and the b is base or the radix of the numbering system and n is the exponent. So our example 25.75 the non-normalized form is 11001.11 if it is written in normalized form it will be 0 0.11001111 multiplied by 2 to the power of 5. The m the mantissa part is 11001111 and the base of the binary system is 2 and the exponent part is 5. So now the mantissa part is ready. The next step is adding zeros to the right hand side to get the full mantissa part until it becomes in 24 bits. That means 
3 bytes form. So for our example value 25.75 we get something like 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 and 4 sets of 4 zeros. Now in here remember the most significant bit represent the negativity and the positive of the value. As 25.75 is a positive value we use the value 0 as the most significant bit. Now if the original number was given as negative you should take the 2's complement of the mantissa part. So for our example minus 25.75 the mantissa part is 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. For the 2's complement, first we should take the 1's complement. That means changing all the 1's into zeros and zeros into 1's. So the 1's complement is 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. And for the 2's complement, we should add the binary value 1. So the final answer is 1. 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. To get the full mantissa part, we should add zeros to the right hand side until it becomes in 24 bits. As the given number is a negative number, the sign bit should be in value 1. As the final value, we will get something like 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1 and 4 sets of 4 bits. The step 3. Now we have to find the biased exponent part. To get this value, add 128 with the exponent and find the binary equivalent in 8 bits. That means 1 byte form. It will be the biased exponent part. Now for our example 25.75, previously we found out that the exponent value is equal to 5. Now we have to add this exponent value 5 with 128. It is equal to 133. Now we have to represent this 133 in binary form. So for that we have to do the division by 2 process. The quotient is 66 and the remainder is 1. Now divide the 66 by 2. The new quotient is 33 and the remainder is 0. Divide 33 by 2. The quotient is 16. The remainder is 1 and divide 16 by 2 the quotient is 8 and the remainder is 0 divide 8 by 2 the quotient is 4 and the remainder is 0 divide 4 by 2 the quotient is 2 and the remainder is 0 divide 2 by 2 the quotient is 1 and the remainder is 0 so now the binary representation of 133 is 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 this is the biased exponent part and then the step 4 write the mantissa and biased exponent part side by side to get the complete binary value so in this example the mantissa part of the number 25.75 was 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 and 4 sets of 4 zeros and the biased exponent part is 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 so the complete number in binary will be something like this this number is understood by the computer as it consists of only zeros and ones no decimal point and negative sign is present in here so that's how the single precision real number representation works and also I want to mention four important key terms that is useful for us when we discuss about data representation that is bit, byte, nibble and words we first start with bit in digital computers it uses the binary number system which has two digits 0 and 1 a binary digit is called as bit byte is a set of 8 bits for example 10111100 it has 8 bits in computers, thousands and thousands of bits are used for which it is usually represented in kilobytes, megabytes or gigabytes. 1 kilobyte or 1 KB is equal to 2 to the power of 10 bytes, which means 1024 bytes. It is approximately equal to 10 to the power of 3, which is the unit of kilo. 
1 megabyte or 1 MB is equal to 2 to the power of 20 bytes. So it is approximately equal to 10 to the power of 6 which is unit of a mega. 1 gigabyte or 1 GB is equal to 2 to the power of 30 bytes. It is approximately equal to 10 to the power of 9 which is a unit of giga. Now the nibble is a set of 4 bits. For example 1011. The computers usually manipulate bits in groups of a fixed size. It is an important characteristic of any specific processor design or computer architecture and we call these words. Modern general purpose computers usually use 32 or 64 bits. It is important that you should know the meaning of these four terms, bit, byte, nibble and words. We call them units of information. And with that we are going to end up this episode. So in this episode we mainly discussed about the single precision real number representation and also the four important key terms, nibble, word, bit and byte. From the next episode we are discussing about the binary arithmetic and it would be the last episode of the section data representation. Thank you for watching and stay tuned on with Edupedia World.